several communities in the Busunchi and Amansia East District, all in, both in the Ashanti region, are consuming vegetables grown with contaminated water. The Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly discharged fecal waste into a drain which flows into the Oda River. Now, if our reporter Ivan Zinkum reports residents of these two districts use water from the river to grow vegetables and other domestic chores. Na nani for days mi won somu di tiefi ankasa egu bola ayi amnanim omo tu amnatin tintin omo di tiefi egu m ya kwa office wo kobusa ya omo sin ay ay tiefi nsuo four days ago i saw them discharge fecal matter into a pit when i inquired they said they used it to douse the ravaging fire me yele wa yali de demu se si 100 no ko hospital ya sai sai jina to one pay my wife has been sick. We have been frequenting the hospital, all because of the situation here. The authorities must do something about this. Chilling stories, evidence of the act not far fetched. River Oda covers a total of 164.2 kilometers square and a source of drinking water for many. The river's tributary at Adeja in the Bosomtri district is under siege. So this is the confluence or the meeting point of two water bodies, the Oda River and the toilet infested water coming from the Oti landfill site and this is it. Human excreta are released into a canal from the Oti landfill site which will later connect to the Oda River. And then Oda near your tomb, Oda Pa! Ah, bro, I've been with Sanuma and Apo. It is sad to see Fika Mata discharged into the Oda River. My worry is that people drink from this particular river. Vegetable farmers use the water to irrigate their lands. The Crops Research Institute of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research warns of the dangers. The fecal matter that we are talking about, for instance, you know, it's a, it's a lot of health hazards surrounding it. We get a lot of diseases, you know, diarrhea, dysentery, uh, cholera, so many other diseases. If we should use this water for the irrigation and then you go and directly consume the produce that is coming out of the water. Again, you get some build-ups in the soil. So indirectly, you are building up this pathogen in the soil. Then later, even if you are not using the same irrigation water for the soil, you have already built up the pathogens in the soil. So it's like a replica effect. Unfortunately, this okra farmer uses the hand sprinkler method which makes it more harmful for consumption. The Waste Management Director at the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly confirmed the practice but said his office is helpless at the moment. We are aware of that. Uh, there is this major stream uh, or that. And we know that whatever activity we do on site, provided uh, the discharge does not meet environmental standards we will be uh, killing the life of that river. Two options we have. We don't have a facility to treat the fecal matter, so we leave it in town. It flows, drains on the streets everywhere, people's compounds here and there. We leave the waste. We, are, we don't have the means to treat it, and so that is it. The second option which we think is the lesser of the evil, is to collect the waste and discharge in the storm drain. We know it is not the best of the options, and that is why we are putting in all our best to ensure that the rehabilitation works get to completion so we we'll have the facility back on track. The Oti landfill site does not have a functioning stabilization pond. I inquire how much funds are needed to complete the stalled stabilization pond. We need about 250,000 Ghana cities. Ghana's Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, is mandated to improve, conserve, 
and promote the country's environment. For fecal matter, it is not good. You know, as the name depicts, it is absolutely not good. And even legally, it is also not allowed. Their produce will end up in the market centers to be purchased by the unsuspecting consumer. Do you really care as to care to know where these vegetables sometimes come from? No, I don't. Okra is another vegetable sold here, but how it is grown is unknown to these sellers. Unfortunately, scenes from the OT landfill sites rather threaten the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals. Residents hope the Metropolitan Assembly rectifies the situation and save them from danger. William Evans Incum reporting. Oh! Yeah.